Hi, this is Steve Blair from Softy Manage Support, and in this little video, I'm just going to take a quick look at setting up satellite rendering, and specifically, I'm going to look at how to make sure that the RaySat satellite service is running on your satellite machine. So here I've got a remote desktop connection to my satellite machine, which is a 64-bit Vista computer. Um, so to check that the service is running, I'm just using the services console, which you can open by clicking start and typing services.msc and then clicking that. Anyway, I already got it open, so what I want to look for is the RaceSat services, and I see I have two. Um, one of them is for 2011, but it, uh, you know I don't remember offhand. Is that the one for 2011 Softy Manage, uh, sorry, subscription advantage pack, or just 2011 regular or 2011? Um, so to check that, it's opened up a Softy Manage command prompt, which is dear Ray Sat asterisk. Show me that for the subscription advantage pack, it's 38131 which I don't see here, so I've got to install the service. Normally, you know, if you choose to install it during the setup of Soft Image, it's going to be there, but right now, this is like a worst case scenario, it, it wasn't installed, but I'm not going to have, I don't have to reinstall Soft Image to get it here. What I have to do is run this RaySat server executable with an install flag. So let's do that. RaySat SI2011 press the tab key, type in S, press the tab key again, so I got everything, slash install. Okay, so it installed, but it failed to start, and I know why, because I'm missing the entry in the services file. So, let's take care of that. The services file, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, Services. You'll note that I'm running in a command prompt that has administrative level privileges, basically an elevated pr command prompt. I right-clicked it and clicked Run as Administrator. You're going to need that kind of level of permission to edit the services file. Uh, so let me bring that down. There we go. So if we go down to the very bottom, I'll see, well, I have this one for which is just plain 2011, which is actually commented out. Uh, so I need to add one for MI race at 38, what was it, 131. So I'll use port 7021, file save. Now this port number, that's going I'm going to have to enter in my RAID 3 host file back on the master computer later, so you, I might want to write that down, uh, but I only have one satellite I should be able to remember. So, uh, back to my command prompt. Okay, so I installed it already, so I'm just going to use slash start. Or, actually if I refresh here, refresh, there it is. I could start it here. So, there we go. We've got the RaySat service running on the satellite computer. Um, I guess the next thing I would have to check is to make sure that that port 7021 is actually not blocked by the firewall. Uh, it's quite common that it is, uh, but that would be the subject for another video. This video I just wanted to show the basic setup of the satellite service. Thanks.